Hey, how you doing, Bud Munch? This is Adam here once again with another tutorial. And just the other day, I made a tutorial for JavaScript all about text area counting and limiting. It's up on YouTube, and somebody commented in on YouTube and said, Hello, Adam, I think it's easy to do this in Flash. Could you do a little example? Thanks. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do the same thing that we did in JavaScript, but we're going to do it in Flash now. And this will give you guys a good broad look at how logic reigns supreme when it comes to programming and not just knowing a programming language or knowing syntax of that programming language. Syntax to me is secondary. Accessing the methods and properties of objects is also secondary. What comes first in any programming language is you have to have strong logic up in your noggin or you're, you're not going to get anything done really. Because once you learn one programming language really well, and it happens to be a dynamic programming language or whatever, or object oriented, then you can move to any of these stinking languages. They're all the freaking same. And I'm going to show you how easy it is just using logic to produce the application, same as with JavaScript. But now we're going to do it in Flash, ActionScript 3. Now keep in mind that the ActionScript 3 code that I'm going to be using will work in Flash CS3, CS4, and CS5. So let's create a new ActionScript 3 file. And the first thing we need to do is get a text area out. So what I'm going to do is create a custom text area by putting out a input text field. So this now is an input text field and I'm going to set the alignment to the left. Make sure it's multi-line and on this one I'm going to show the border. So that's what I'm left with. And the color of the text I'm just going to make black. 16 point, that's good. Now it's important to instance name this text field or this input text field. Let's name it TA. Now let's grab another text field and let's pop it on stage and I'm going to make this one dynamic text. And I'm going to give an instance name of count display underscore txt. I can resize that one as well. I'm going to take the border off of that one. I'm going to align this one to the right and I'm going to make it dark green and pop it into place right there under the text area. Now this is an input text field. That means it's a text area. It will input, it will take input text from a user within any of your forms. Just the same as if you were to go into the components library and pull out the text area component. So you have a choice here. You can either use custom input text field or use the text area component. Just drag that out to stage, give it an instance name of TA instead of using this input text field like I put. They will both serve the same function. So this one is to take in the text where the person types into the form. And this one is just a little field that they won't be able to type into or anything. It's just going to show the value of how many characters are left like we did in the JavaScript tutorial. So if you press control enter at this point you'll have something that you can type into like that. And I'm going to have to turn the auto current off. You can see how it's right when the application opens if I put my cursor in there it starts a line down that's not cool so what you do is highlight that input text field turn auto current off press control enter and you'll see it starts at the top where it should now a lot of people encounter that problem with text areas and text fields within flash and that's how you fix it just turn your auto current off or within the code you can make sure this text area is blank within the first line of code or within the first few lines of code just make this text area blank and it will take a, take away that line break that sometimes is inserted for some odd reason alright now check out how easy it is to limit it max chars put that at 250 so now that has a max chars value of 250 that way no more than 250 characters can ever be placed into it so that takes care of your limiting the text area now you want to count it and put the count here. So now we're going to have to add some code to accomplish that. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to rename it AS3, short for Action Script 3, and press F9 to open my Actions panel. Or you can just go up to Window Actions. And this is where we type in code to correspond with things on our stage. Okay, first thing is create a couple of variables. And these are going to be numbers. So the first one we'll call TA Max. And this is going to be an integer and equal to 250. And the next variable is going to be the max difference because we have to 
figure out the difference between the max and what is currently in the field as they're typing. So, what you have to do, just like we did in the JavaScript tutorial, is make sure we figure out a difference between the TA max, which is 250, and what's currently in the field. So for now, we're just going to make this zero, and we'll change that value within a function in just a second. The next thing we want to do is take that count display text field, the one that's sitting on stage, underscore txt dot text, give it a value equal to, by default, starts off with 250 characters remaining because when the form opens up it's going to have 250 characters remaining because they haven't typed anything in yet. So first thing right off the bat in the count display text field you put in 250 characters remaining. And you can press control enter to see what happens when you do that. See? Pops it right into place there. Now the next thing we're going to do is add the important event listener to the text area. So you type in TA which is our input text area add event listener open and close parentheses and put a semicolon in between your parentheses you type in event dot change comma and you can name this function whatever you want that's going to fire off when the text area is changed in any way so if they type something in or if they backspace and delete things this change event will fire off so let's make a function called, I don't know, TA change event. So you can copy that, go down one line, type in function, TA change event, open close parentheses, colon void, open curly brace, go down a couple of lines and close your curly brace. So there's your function nest. Now within the parentheses here for this TA change event, we want to type in E colon event. Now your function is all ready to go. You have a listener for the text area. So every time the person is typing in or they happen to remove letters, whatever, this function is going to fire off when that happens. So the first thing you want to do in that function is type in max diff, which is our variable that we created here. We're going to give that a value that's equal to TA max, which is 250 for this example minus ta dot length property so we can access the length property of that text area that means how many characters are in it so it's 250 minus however however many characters are in the text area when the person is typing in or removing letters at that very moment and each time they type anything in then you just take the count display text field and you give that a value equal to max diff plus a little custom string here space characters remaining that'll give your text area the same look and feel that it started off with but these numbers this number 250 will keep changing so let's see if this works let's press control enter Hi, my name is Doofus. So there you go. You can see it's counting nicely. When I backspace, it counts nicely as well. If I take some text, copy it, paste it in, counts it perfectly. And watch this, it won't let me go beyond 250. See? It just stops it. No more. So it's the same application, the same exact logic, but just using a different technology. So that's how you can limit a text field and also count it in real time while the person's typing in. In Flash ActionScript 3. Suitable for CS3, CS4, CS5. And we'll see you in the next lesson.